Hello friends and once again welcome to PHVSolutions.com. My name is Amit and uh, we are continuing talking about Ruby script advanced examples. In today example number 18, I am going to show it to you by using Ruby script you can export data out of your planning application. In fact, you can apply filters and use multiple formatting options including delimiters while exporting data. In today's example, this is the data I'm going to export. I connect it to a smart view and retrieve this data from a planning application. Now I want to export this data to my Excel file. Since I wanted a file of the, the format of the file in the same fashion, therefore I created a, created a smart view. Okay, let's get started. So I'm going to create new groovy rule. Let's create new rule. And I name this rule as planning data export. This is my financial cube. Go to rule, right click and create new rule. I call this planning CSV export. Since it is a groovy script, I like to use script mode rather than designer mode i go to script mode and change my script type as groovy script groovy script now let's get started the step one i'm going to create a reference of my cube class type so i create a cube class and then it's going to refer to operation dot application dot get cube this we did multiple time in the past the, the cube name is oep fs see this is the name of the cube oep fs oep fs i'm going to retrieve data from there then uh, in order to export it i mean to create create data export object class so like cube dot create data exporter exporter class and uh, i'm going to define date format so you can use the date format whatever you wish to like to do it i'm going to use date format dt mm and yyyy and let's set some more options so i'm going to set uh, delimiter set delimiter let's use a comma delimiter and uh, let's set column format as well set column uh, member names so in my example i'm going to retrieve it for january february march by fi23 so column member names and give a name over here since it is considered as a tuple put them in a square brace january february and march what else we can do it we can also define uh, filter optionally so set i can apply filter on rows uh, so let's say set row filter criteria so what what filter criteria do you want well i want data to be retrieved for this intersection sales us let's put sales us intersection with uh, this is market and entity us market us market if i don't apply filter the cube is really huge and it take a lot of time to process so it makes sense to filter it and the same fashion you can filter for multiple intersection right now i'm going to filter only entity market and product no product then optionally you can define data export format so i'm going to put data export format so data export format i've taken a screenshot in a ppt from oracle documentation the so data export format returns this object 
after setting the date format, data file format. So data file format, there are multiple options we have over here. Right now I'm using cell format. So cell format and then define anything else. Okay, let's set an error file as well. So if anything go wrong, I'll get to know by looking at the error file. So set error file name. Give some name, you can find this file into inbox and outbox explorer. So I'm going to give a name called export data export error data export error dot log file and uh, finally we are going to export this file so you use export function export data to file and give the name of the file over here sales us data export sales us data export And I want this file to be a CSV file. That's it. All right. So once you complete this, we should save and validate and uh, deploy this file. So did some formatting, save and validate. Okay, line number line number four. Make sure this is groovy part. It's groovy. Okay, one, two, three, four. All right, so my double quotes are not correct. This is fine. Yes. Save and validate once again. Deploy and then we are going to run it through. It is good, no syntax error. Deploy and now let's run it. Since I limited apply certain filters, data export will take place fast. If you do not apply filter, data export may take significant time. So be very careful about it. You can call this script in your Excel as well. Create a custom Excel macro and call this Groovy script as well. So just yes, export is done where you can see this. Go to application overview. Under import and explore folder application overview. Under import and export. Uh, sorry, inbox and outbox explorer. sort by last modified so i see log file is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.0.0 kb it means there is no error and i have a data file is that a correct data file see this this is one data file uh sales us underscore data export yes let's select this ah sort select this and download select this and download So this is my data optionally you can you know apply text column filter it i'm going to filter it by using delimiter putting a different column this is my data with an intersection of a dimension member so this is your code and that's your output file so as you see date format is mentioned dd mmyyyy i don't have any data in a date format so it doesn't make any sense the delimiter is the pipe, it could have been comma as well. Uh, the column header is January, February, March. And data got filtered only for sales US. You see it's only sales US. US market, sales US, US market, and for no product. Right, for no product, sales US, US market, no product. So this is our filter criteria, isn't it? So that's it for today. Should you have more questions, please feel free to write to bispsolutions.com. Thank you.